Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy, and welcome to my new space. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> My friends and I, Carl and Melissa and my husband, have been working on this space for quite a while now. It's so exciting to actually be in this space. It's not quite where it needs to be, but because of COVID-19 and my children are distance learning at the moment, we have to adapt, don't we? So I'm in this space. We can do all the decorating on that fun stuff as we go along. There are a couple other things, water and stuff that we'll have to work around, but I'm so grateful to finally be in this space and to be able to bring you yet another video. Today, I'm going to be making a recipe yet again with my, my handy dandy rice cooker. This is my favorite rice cooker and the cord is, okay, here it is. This is my friendly Zojirushi rice cooker. I have had this for many years now and it has not failed me. I love this thing. When I initially bought it, I said $100 for a rice cooker. You've got to be kidding. Worth every single penny. We almost use it every single day. I would only recommend a rice cooker for those of you that eat lots of rice and that like having rice ready for you when you come home or ready for you in the morning because these machines are programmable. I do make rice on the stovetop, particularly if I'm making kind of Mexican style, like red rice or something like that, rice and beans. And I often scorch it because I forget about it or, you know. So that's another reason why I love this. It never scorches my rice. At any rate, I'm gonna be cooking a very interesting recipe with this machine. Let me plug it in. So we're gonna plug in my machine. Okay, can I just tell you how much I love this island? This island is actually just a hardware, let me let me show you. It's a hardware trolley thing, right? And then you open this and you're supposed to have like all your tools, but I have a can opener and in this drawer, whoa. I have, you know, offset spatulas, bamboo roller mat. I mean, right? But look down here, it's a super deep drawer so I can put you know, a food processor down in there. I know it's supposed to have a circular saw, but you know, I can have bowls in there. Super excited. Look, it has a power strip right in the side so I can plug in my appliances. Oh. Today we're gonna to be making Oreo cookie rice. Sounds strange, right? But I think it's actually gonna be absolutely delicious. I have cooked some other interesting things in my rice cooker along with rice, including KFC, including a full Big Mac meal that includes the Coke, the fries, chicken nuggets, barbecue sauce, and a full on hamburger right into the rice cooker along with the rice. It actually was pretty good. The KFC was really good. So I'm thinking, why not? Three for three, Oreo rice might be absolutely delicious. I mean, who doesn't love Oreos? I know, I know there are probably a lot of me that don't, but I love Oreos and this is gonna be a sweet rice. So instead of using water, we're gonna be using milk. We're gonna have rice, we're gonna add a little extra milk. So it's gonna be like a rice, you know, pudding, but with chocolate. Sounds great, right? Sounds great. I first discovered this recipe on Soar News and I will put the link down below to the original post. So. Let's do this. The first thing we're gonna need is two measuring cups of rice. When I say cups, I don't mean a standard measuring cup. I mean the cup that came with this maker. And that is about two thirds to three quarters of a cup, if I remember off the top of my head. So that works out to be two, two thirds of a cup, which is one and one third cups standard of rice. I hope I haven't confused you. I'll put the recipe information <laughs> in the description in case I just did. Okay, so I've pre-measured my rice and we're going to wash this. So we need a bowl. This is something my mom taught me how to do and from what I've learned and gathered from you and from what I've read, washing it a few times, rinsing it with water, agitating it, rinsing it until the water runs clear, removes any extra starch on the outside of the rice, gives you rice that doesn't clump together. La la la, use my back. It sounds like my sink is taking a leak. Put it into our bowl of the rice cooker. So there are little increment lines here and since I use two cups of rice, I'm gonna use two cups of milk. So, glug, 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 glug. You just swirl the 
in this case milk, <laughs> around the pot here to pull down any grains of rice. So we need a little bit more. We don't want any rice sticking on the sides of the wall. This is whole milk, by the way. Now we're gonna add an extra 50 milliliters of milk. I'm using my adjustable measuring cup because you can adjust it to what you need, whether it's liquid or dry, less than a quarter of a cup. So pour that in there. Now for the fun part, we're gonna add I haven't gotten used to my drawers yet. Where did I put it? Huh? I opened every single one at this point. They're in here. Okay. Whew. Oreos. <laughs> so I have the family size package. These were on sale about a month ago and we need 54 cookies. Exactly. <sighs> yeah, baby booties. I hope there's 54 in the package. Oh no. Uh oh, that one broke. I don't like broken Oreos. <gasps> what if I don't have enough? That's okay, I have another package of these, but shoot, that's a lot. Okay, one, two, three, broken, four, five, they're floating. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh my gosh, 32 packages. Thankfully, I got two of these, so I'll be right back. Six Oreos! I gotta do this correctly. Gotta follow the recipe precisely. <sighs> Never fear. Family size number two is here. We need six more Oreos. Okay, three, four, five, and six. That's beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna pop this into our machine, just like that. All right, seeing a few. Oh, um. So good. Boy. I haven't had one of those in a while. Delicious. Alrighty, let's do this. Oh my gosh, I have to show you this. This is amazing. Like they don't even look cooked, but they are. Look, they're squishy and soft. Let's just take this out of here. Ooh, that's hot, 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 hot. Oh my gosh, look at that. We have rice. Oh my goodness. So the Oreos that were in contact with the milk have completely kind of dissolved. While the ones on top are a little bit crunchy still. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. Okay, look at this. It kind of looks, reminds me of black sticky rice. Have you seen that before? There's a variety of rice. It has this beautiful dark purple color to it. That's what this looks like to me. Alrighty, let's give our Oreo rice a taste. Eat the lucky moss. Mm-hmm. So delicious. You know what it's like? 
It's like warm cake batter. It's chocolatey, it's warm, but it has that kind of thick battery texture. A little bit of chew of the rice as well. It's delicious. <laughs> it's distinctly Oreo. There's plenty of sugar in there to make this nice and sweet like a dessert. So it's like a mashup between rice pudding and cake batter. You've got the warmth and kind of the rice consistency of rice pudding, but then you've got that intensity and that kind of creamy thickness of a cake batter. Delicious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a lot like a lava cake. That's what it's like. Mm -hmm. I think the heat really intensifies the flavor of the Oreo. It tastes chocolier, it tastes sweeter, it tastes more decadent, it feels more decadent in your mouth, but yeah, well, it is more decadent. I mean, how many Oreos have I eaten already? Like three, four, five? Mmm, so good. Alrighty, so there you have it. A fun, really easy experiment to do in your kitchen. If you've got some Oreos, some milk, and some rice, a little rice cooker, make yourself a delicious decadent dessert. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. And fun and games aside, I hope you're doing all right. If you're watching this in the future, we are in the middle of the pandemic that is COVID-19. And we all are struggling and trying to find our ways to deal with it. Remaining responsible, socially distancing ourselves, and trying to deal with all of this craziness. And I've found a lot of solace in my family. It's been great to spend a lot of time with them. It's also been absolutely nuts at times, but we have each other and I'm really, really grateful for that. And I hope you guys are managing you can find me on social media. I've been reaching out more there. I find that because we're more isolated that I've had the need to post more on social media and I hope to do little eat alongs. So look for that. I'm going to be doing some YouTube live videos, very impromptu, but just lunchtime. If you're eating lunch too, come eat with me. I hope you guys are doing all right. I'm thinking of you. We will get through this. We are going to be okay. All right. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Roger, roger that.